girl Jen and today I am finally filming the how I lost weight video if I'm gonna be completely honest I kind of put this video off because I know diet and nutrition can be a very controversial topic online first off I am NOT a dietitian I am NOT a nutritionist I just literally used these tips that I'm about to share with you and I lost weight I can't guarantee that it's gonna work for you because everyone's body is unique and some bodies just react differently uh, all I know is that these tips have helped me lose weight and that's all I can claim so now that's out of the way let me just give you some stats about my bod. Uh, last year in 2016, I was the heaviest I ever was. I was 120 pounds and for my frame, that really showed. Uh, and now today in 2017, I am 100 to 105 pounds. This took a full year to lose the weight. So please do not expect this to happen overnight. It is a gradual process. Uh, the only advice I can give you is to start today. Start on your next meal and don't look back. So I'm gonna run down the 10 tips that have contributed to my weight loss. A lot of it is common sense, but sometimes you just need a little refresher. <laughs> My first tip is to find healthy foods that you actually love eating. It's not realistic to have a salad for every single meal for the rest of your life. It's just unattainable. Go out there and go on a food tour. Find the healthy foods that you just freaking love eating and create a list. So throughout the years, I've learned that I love broccoli, green beans, mushrooms, tofu. I can eat so much of that and never get sick of it. Don't force yourself to eat that dry kale salad if you don't like dry kale. And I don't go out of my way to eat healthy foods that I don't like. For example, I don't like cucumbers and I don't like tomatoes and I don't force myself to eat it just because it's healthy. I just avoid them and eat other healthy foods. And it's really worked out well for me. So go out there, create a list and stick to it. The second tip is very important. It is to have no distractions while you're eating. I know it's like second nature at this point to get your hot pile of food, turn on the TV or laptop and just tune out and eat. Your brain takes around 20 minutes to realize that it's full. And when you're not paying attention to your body, you don't know when that time comes. And I've noticed that whenever I watch something and I'm eating, I tend to eat even more and even faster. And a lot of the times like I'm finished with my food, but the show's still going. So I'll like go back and get seconds just so I can like, you know, let the good times roll. But if you want to lose weight, you it's easier to know what your body is saying to you when everything is off. I always try and stop eating right when I get to the sweet spot. And that is the spot where I'm I'm not hungry anymore, but I'm not like completely full. Like it's that really nice in between. And I feel like, I feel like the Japanese have a word for it, but I don't know, like that's, that's the, that's where I try and stop eating. And that's really helped me maintain my figure. And it's tricky, believe me. It's really hard to get that spot because it's so tempting to just eat until like your stomach's like, oh God, no. Like that's where I used to love being. It's been easier to maintain my weight because I'm not overindulging and overeating. This next tip is something that I've been using since college and it's to have smaller plates and bowls. So if you look in our shelves, you'll notice that we have two sizes. We've got a normal big one for Ben and we've got a smaller one for me. We've nicknamed it the baby plate because it's just little. Uh, and yeah, when I have a bigger plate, I tend to want to over portion myself. I want to cram and fill the plate. So with the smaller plate, I can still cram all the food in, but it's actually the perfect portion for me. Tip number four is to get a water bottle. I feel like drinking water is one of the most common diet tips, but it's so true. When you are hydrated, you're not really that hungry. And for me, I love having my sippy cup because this makes me drink so much water throughout the day. And it's the Camelback specifically. I love like the bite valve and I love have to like suck the water in. Like I go through maybe three or four bottles of this a day. And so I make sure that I'm very hydrated. Whenever you have a craving, chances are you're just dehydrated or you're bored. And so whenever I have like a hankering for some chips or like any sort of like snack or something, I will chug half a bottle of this and I'll wait 15 minutes. And if I'm still hungry, then I'll go have a snack. But most of the time after I drink it, I'm completely fine and I can wait till my next meal. I also should mention that I don't drink any juices, I don't drink any soda or like milk. I only stick to water, unsweetened tea, black coffee, and like soda water. 
that's pretty much it. Uh, my favorite is LaCroix. It is so delicious. It has zero calories and it just gives you that carbonated kick if you are missing it. My fifth tip is to never skip any meals, especially breakfast. I feel like I have kind of programmed my body to just like wake up hungry. So I always, always have breakfast. Like there's a reason why it's called the most important meal of the day. It's because it kicks off your metabolism. And I've noticed that when I skip like breakfast, by the next meal, I am so hungry. I end up making really stupid food decisions. So I'll just like end up overeating or I'll, or I'll order something like really gnarly, like nachos or something. It's easier to make mindful food choices when your body is not starving. Personally, I only eat three meals a day. I know some people like to have four to five smaller meals a day, uh, but for me, it's just too much effort to think of like that many meals to eat. So I like to keep it simple, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For my breakfast, that's when I have most of my carbs. I'll have beans on toast or I'll have like an egg wrap. For lunch, I'll, you know, I like can treat myself. I have a sandwich, a burger, whatever. Uh, but for dinner, that's when I'm kind of the most strict. When I was at like my most motivated to lose weight, uh, for dinner, I would never have any refined carbohydrates. So I wouldn't have any pasta. I wouldn't have like big fried rice dishes. I would probably stick to like veggies and like a protein and that's it for dinner. Um, and then for breakfast, I'll have my carbs. This next tip is something that I really struggled with when I first moved back to LA in 2015. I was eating out at restaurants all the time and I was ordering Postmates all the time. When you go to restaurants, even if you order the healthy dish, you don't actually know what the restaurant's putting into it. Sure, there's like a list of ingredients, but you don't know how much butter they put, you don't know how much oil they put, or MSG. The restaurant's objective is to make the food taste as good as possible and keep you coming back. And it's a business, so it makes sense. So that's why it's just easier to just cook your own meal. You know exactly what you put in it. And I know it's like easy to say like, oh, I'm not a good cook, I can't cook, but you just need to cook three recipes. Learn how to make three healthy recipes and then you can build from there. It's impossible to just completely avoid restaurants for the rest of your life, it's not gonna happen. So when I do eat out, I like to have a balance. So I have this rule called the two rule. So I'll either pick an appetizer and entree, or an entree and a dessert. I'll never get all three, or if I do get all three, it's like, you know, a special occasion. Uh, but yeah, you don't need all three. You don't need an appetizer, entree, and dessert. That's just, you know, that's, you know, that's a full package. Uh, you just need two. Tip number seven is to reduce your alcohol intake. When I was at my heaviest, I was probably drinking maybe two or three times a week, and it definitely showed. There's a lot of empty calories and alcohol, and the problem with me was I would always have drenchies. When I would come home drunk, I would just open up my cupboard, make a snack, throw it in the microwave, and I would just eat all of it to soak up the alcohol and then go to sleep. But I mean, I don't even know if that's scientifically proven, but basically I would eat all that shit and then I would wake up the next morning hungover and I would always order my burrito. Uh, yeah, it was like a vicious cycle. Obviously I still drink, I like to go out and have a good time, but I only drink once a week now. If I'm gonna drink more than once a week, then I'll only have one drink, that's it. And every time I go out, I only have a vodka soda with fresh lime, that is my favorite drink of choice. Ben and I call it the skinny mini because it only has the calories of the vodka. Like, and I think a shot of vodka is what, like 100 calories? And that's it. This next tip is about snacking. I don't keep any snacks that tempt me in my house because I'm the type of person where if I have like hot Cheeto fries or just any form of Hot Cheetos, I have to eat the bag. It's kind of like calling my name as I'm just like in the house. So I just like to cut the temptation and not have any of it in my house. If I really, really want them, then I'll have to get off my ass and go buy them. But if they're not in the house, then I'm not thinking about it. So I know I've been blabbing a lot about food and diet. So I'm gonna talk about the next obvious thing, which is exercise. I like to exercise around three to five times a week. And when I was training super hard, I was going five times a week and that in combination with all the tips that I said like made me really shred it like for the first two months like a lot of that weight came off because of those I know the ratio is something like 80% diet and 20% fitness but when you put the exercise in that 20% goes a long way and when you are just combining both those forces a lot of it just melts off. So it's really important to find a form of exercise that you hate the least. So whether it is kickboxing, Pilates, swimming, running, whatever, for me, it is to train alone. I love going to the gym by myself. It's become my own little sanctuary. Each of my workouts are around 50 minutes long. I am obsessed with this app called Seconds. I have talked about it in a previous video. It's basically like my little personal trainer. So I like to start off with 20 minutes of cardio. I'll use my high intensity interval training workout. So 
So I'll be on the Stairmaster for five minutes, just walking normally. And then I'll run on the Stairmaster for 30 seconds. And then I'll walk again for a minute and 30 seconds. And then I'll run again for 30 seconds. And I'll do this six times. And then I'll cool off with five minutes of walking on the Stairmaster. And by the end of this, I am literally drenched in sweat. And now I am ready for my strength training. For my 30 minutes of strength training, I won't get too into it, but I basically have created a bunch of playlists that work different parts of my body out. So I have three full body workouts, I have one for the waist, one for the abs and arms, it all depends. I feel like I'm just gonna do a separate video on that workout because if I incorporated that into this video, I feel like it'd be way too long. So be prepared for my workout video in the future. <laughs> These days, I only work out three times a week. Uh, it's because I'm not trying to lose any weight. I'm only trying to maintain the body I have right now. I'm really happy with my weight and I'm not trying to change anything. Um, I've noticed that since I've been doing the strength training and the weights, it's been easier to just like keep my body the way it is. My last tip is to find motivation that really resonates with you. Back in the day, I feel like a lot of my weight loss inspiration was quite superficial. It was just about like, I wanna be skinny for my birthday or I wanna be skinny for Coachella. Once I found a deeper reason of why I wanted to be fit, it just propelled me to stay in shape. The reason why I exercise and I tried my best to stay in shape is for my mental health. I've noticed that back in the day when I wasn't working out consistently, I had a lot more breakdowns, I had a lot of meltdowns, and I was just very sensitive to stress. Now that I work out three to five times a week, I don't really have that issue that much anymore. Like I'm not perfect, but I am so much better than how I was last year. Some days I just wake up and I am just bummed. But before I would just kind of be bummed and just let it be like a sad day. Now, if I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling anxious or stressed, I hit the gym because 95% of the time I come back after a workout and I feel better. Ben is the most important person in my life and he lives with me and I, hated being the Debbie Downer. Ben is generally a super positive person and having a bad attitude is just so contagious and I hated bringing him down. And so I knew that this is something that I really needed to work on and exercise has helped me so much. So find a reason that really sticks with you, whether it's because you wanna be stronger, you want to be able to lift something, whether you wanna like run a marathon or you wanna have inner peace with yourself. Once you find a deeper goal, it's easier to stick with it. All right guys, those were my top 10 tips on how I lost weight. Honestly, the first month is the hardest, I swear. But once you pass that hurdle, it's all downhill from there. And then once you start seeing like physical changes in your body, and once like pants start to feel loose, then it becomes even easier. If you'd like to leave any diet tips in the comments down below or words of encouragement, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I just want this to be like a positive, place for people to talk about fitness and nutrition. If there's something that you don't agree with me, uh, it would be awesome if you just said it in a constructive way as opposed to a way of just attacking me. My point is not to shame people into losing weight. It's just for the people that need that extra kick to want to live a healthier lifestyle. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.